Wizardia has been the talk in the world of the game since its debut. You may feel that you're late to the party if you've been observing from the sidelines. However, this revolutionary reworking of our digital life is still very young. If you're looking for an easy and digestible introduction to Wizardia, take a seat, you're in the right place. While Decentraland presently has the title of the largest metaverse on the market, Wizardia may soon overtake it. This is one of the most anticipated metaverse games that has swiftly gained traction after creating a lot of hype with its spoken release earlier. So what is Wizardia and how is it different from the other metaverse games? Wizardia is a triple-A play-to-earn online role-playing strategy game centered on special NFTs. Its captivating gameplay and outstanding graphics outperform the majority of blockchain-based games. You play as wizards according to your NFT in the wonderful turn-based combat. As you increase the axes in Axie Infinity, you can level up by increasing your NFT. What's more intriguing is that Wizardia offers a play-to-earn economy where early investors and backers may make passive revenue. This is somewhat comparable to, but significantly superior to blockchain, gaming guilds like Merit Circle and Yield Guild games. You can own Wizardia's War Arena if you invested in its Arena Genesis NFTs early and profit from every battle that takes place on your battlefields. Moreover, the Wizardia NFT marketplace lets you buy and sell wizard NFTs. Wizardia allows you to level up your wizards to increase their fighting prowess, similar to other metaverse games. Then, to earn more money through Wizardia, you can either sell, trade or rent your enhanced wizard NFT. We've mentioned some strong terms there, so let's break them down for you who might just be starting out. In a few words, the metaverse is a term used to refer to a blockchain-based virtual environment found in video games. If you've seen movies like Free Guy or Ready Player One, which depict digital worlds comparable to current metaverses, you already know what a metaverse is. As a sign of its growing popularity, Facebook changed the name of its firm to Meta and pledged to continue creating the metaverse. The term metaverse was created to describe a contemporary game's digital world that is powered by blockchain technology and supports NFTs, despite the fact that games with digital worlds were already available in 2003, such as Second Life. These NFTs can be updated or exchanged between users inside or outside the metaverse and take the form of digital avatars as in Wizardia or digital territories like in Decentraland. There are numerous varieties of NFTs in the Wizardia metaverse. You can acquire battle arena regions in the game by purchasing land NFTs called Arena Genesis NFTs. Second, there are the Wizards, Proto Spells and Realm Wonders NFT avatars and items. Avatar NFTs are the first, while spells are unique structures follow. For instance, in order to play the game, you need a wizard NFT. What's the difference between other P2E games versus Wizardia? Following the success of Axie Infinity in 2020 and 2021, there have been a lot of DeFi, decentralized finance and GameFi projects with an emphasis on the earning possibilities for the crypto gaming community. However, a lot of these ventures fall short in the long run due to their tokens' high rate of inflation. The biggest example of this is the SLP token from Axie Infinity, whose circulating supply increased by an astounding 12,000% from 45 million in late 2020 to 5.38 billion in mid-2022. Its price changed as a result, going from $0.0435 in late 2020 to $0.889 in mid-2021, before dropping to $0.0385 in mid-2022. Obviously, market fluctuations are partly to blame in this case, but SLP might have fared significantly better on its price charts with a smaller amount of circulating supply. Additionally, long-term gamers, especially die-hard ones who've been playing extensive games for years, are not sufficiently attracted by the promise of earning potential. They will eventually become bored and quit the metaverse game, regardless of their potential rewards. Complex stories that create game characters and settings have a backstory and a purpose, and encourage community interaction are possible popular among modern gamers, right? So what makes Wizardia special? Wizardia stands out by putting the game first and the financial possibility second. It seeks to create a compelling game that will endure and draw players regardless of the financial reward. Wizardia introduces a limitless fog where safe havens have grown on the few plots of land that are still habitable and protected from the unknown's wrath. With the help of a large map of the continents, players can interact with the same, exploring the resources available and creating defenses and strategies to rule one or more of the continents. Wizardia goes a step further by emphasizing excellent artwork and aesthetics, which improves its gameplay even more. This makes sure that Wizardia is enjoyed by ardent players just as much as well-known games. By the end of the third quarter of 2022, Wizardia intends to create a market and launch its token on a tier 1 centralized exchange, and by the fourth quarter of 2022, Wizardia hopes to release its game coupled with an AR integration and a mobile app. 
the fact that they've been able to accomplish the majority of their roadmap objectives on time, which is difficult to see in most crypto projects, has many quite impressed with their progress. It's interesting to note that they have continuously expanded their community, which is crucial for creating a flourishing, prosperous metaverse economy. Simply said, it appears that the Wizardia development team has discovered the solution. Wizardia's native token, WZRD, has a 300 million total supply. The project uses vesting and cliff methods to issue its token gradually. According to CoinMarketCap, the circulating supply of WZRD was 7.74 million at the time of making this video. Additionally, Wizardia is offering its tokens in a variety of rounds for different types of investors. As a result of tokens from seed, private, community, play-to-earn, staking, marketing, and listings allocations, its token supply will release consistently until mid-2023. Then as a result, its supply will gradually rise until the end of 2023. Every possible investor, whether a seed, private or community investor, had a fair chance of participating in the Wizardia token sale because it was originated in stages. Its team prepared a balanced token distribution. According to the token allocation and token sale round, all tokens have a vesting term that ranges from 5 to 19 months. This demonstrates the team's confidence and dedication to making Wizardia a huge success. Additionally, they demand the same degree of assurance and dedication from their seed and private round investors, which supports the tokenomics of its token WZRD for the foreseeable future. Demand and supply determine the price of any good or service in the world, including cryptocurrency. As a result of the friction between strong demand and low supply, prices rise accordingly. For WZRD, the same holds true. Similarly, if there is a great demand for WZRD, its price will go high. Luckily, the Wizardia team has made extensive use of the token. First, it is used to place wagers on PvP battles and buy or mint resources, such as artifacts and NFTs. Additionally, it serves as a registration fee for the competitions. The Genesis Arena NFTs, which are land NFTs in Wizardia's Metaverse game, provide the company with its initial source of revenue. The Genesis Arena NFTs were sold in 7 rounds for a total of $28,000. This indicates that, unlike the earning potential in other games with a comparable metaverse, these are not inflationary in nature. The second opportunity to make money is when you receive in-game NFTs and WZRD tokens as payment for your time, effort and skill in the game. For example, when you're winning tournaments, sounds intriguing, right? The Wizardia competitions are also about to start. Join the battle with your wizard NFTs and compete for a prize pool of 100,000 WZRD tokens. The pre-launch PvE game mode tournaments are browser-based for Wizardia NFT holders only. Participants must have three wizard NFTs and a 10 US dollars entrance ticket to compete. A player may participate in a tournament 20 times with one admission ticket, each combat worth one rating point. After each combat, rating points are given depending on the health percentage of the player's rewards. A player who has participated in 20 tournament bouts can purchase another admission ticket, fight in 20 additional battles, and improve their rating if they are dissatisfied with it. This is something that many players are looking forward to. Wizardia is supported by a committed and a knowledgeable staff with prior experience contributing to well-known titles like Need for Speed 2015 and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Its CEO, Mendogas Markovicius, has extensive business, leadership and project management experience. Thomas Karsavicius, the company's CEO, has 13 years of experience in the field of digital marketing. Its chief technology officer, Marius Podvoiskis, has worked at Shopify and other tech companies for many years. There are advisors for Wizardia from Mars 4, Illuvium and Launchpad. A significant number of investors have also backed it up, including well-known companies like AU21 Capital, CRT Capital and Magnus Capital, among many others. Additionally, it's collaborated with other launchpads, including Trustpad, Lithium, and Engine Starter. If you have enough experience in the cryptocurrency industry, you'd be aware that in order to offer a reliable return on your investment, cryptocurrency ventures must endure periods like bear markets. Wizardia appears to be well equipped to succeed. Wizardia is one of those projects that has all the ingredients for success, including a solid product, a committed crew, and a thriving community. One of their roadmap objectives is to increase the community by 200,000 people every three months, which they've been doing on schedule. Wizardia is all to standing and expanding still despite the prolonged bear market. During this weak market, it has drawn the interest of both investors and gamers. This may be significant evidence that Wizardia is receiving support from the crypto community. Overall, the idea of the game appears promising, and it's great that we can finally meet the team members. However, we still have to wait for the upcoming gameplay video. In the upcoming weeks and months, there'll be lots of updates. 
Keep in mind that the information we've used here comes from their website, social media accounts and white paper. Throughout the game's development, it could alter. I'm interested to see how they carry out the goals outlined in this video, how they maintain Wizardia's metaverse economy, and how they fulfill their promise to produce AAA caliber games. That's all from this video. Make sure to follow Wizardia on the social media platforms if you have any questions about the game. How do you feel about Wizardia? Will you spend money on it, or are you going to wait to use the free-to-play features to test it out first? See you in the next video.